Surgical duct ligation has largely fallen out of favor as there is no evidence to show that delayed surgical ligation helps. The post ligation syndrome is well defined as well and it can lead to worsening of the cardiorespiratory condition due to changes in the circulation in many of the extreme premature babies. So these babies are adapted to a certain form of circulatory pattern and when it abruptly changes they don't cope with it. So we have to have a strategy to manage it as well. So the number of babies who undergo ligation has dropped significantly for various reasons. One is it doesn't have a significant impact on the outcome and secondly we face this negative impact as well. So non-surgical device closure uh, in using amplified serpicolo occlude as well as many similar devices they are now FDA approved as well and they can be used in babies as little as 700 grams. So they can be inserted using a transvenous approach you don't need to arterial catheterize and uh, only few centers have it so many units in Canada and US have started using it uh, but the cost may be a rate limiting factor and there may be migration of this occluding device or it may displace uh, it can embolize so we have complications from these as well you can see how tiny it is and this is how it looks like <coughs>